Hello learners, in this lecture we'll see how to find the cutting length of a stirrup and how to find the number of stirrups. So this is the Excel sheet what I have here. So what I've done is again, it's the same thing what I've added here. The, re the rest remains the same, stirrups, uh, the description is stirrups, the cutting length and all. So how do you find the cutting length? Uh, like we did for the lateral test, it's the same thing what we need to, and it is also more easier here. So we'll see that through one of the example. See. You can see the stirrups placed here, right? So this is how the stirrup is placed. So this is my beam width. This the beam width is the beam width is given as 230 mm. So whenever we put the stirrup, we need to detect the cover from both the side. That is 25 mm from the left side and 25 mm from the right side. Only then the length of the stirrup we are going to get. So that is why you can see a stirrup here, right? The stirrup has make use of a different color here. You can see the stirrup. The stirrup has only gone up to here. That's it. That means there is some space left, right? From here to the here and from here to here there is some space left this space what is left that is called as cover and that cover what we need to give is 25 mm for the beams that's it so with this understanding we'll go back to the excel sheet and we'll try to do that now try to do that uh, calculation what is the size of the beam the size of the beam is 230 mm and 450 so this is my breadth side and this is my depth that is how my lateral uh, stirrup is all about so 230 minus 25 minus 25 i'm getting i'm getting 180 you're getting 0 0.18 even this also remains as 0 0.18 next coming to the depth the depth of the beam is 450 mm and 450 minus zero, uh, minus 25 mm minus 25 mm is 400 is what i'm getting so on the depth side you have to put the lateral test of 400 mm so this is how it is you can see it here right so this is 400 is what i'm getting now this is 400 from here to here i'm getting 400 and this uh, length what I got is 180 mm. This is 180. So that's it. You have to add the and along with that you need to understand one more thing. You, you can see a hook here, right? Like for the lateral ties we had a hook. Similarly for the stirrups also we'll have, we'll have a hook. So this hook whatever you have, it has to be 10 times the diameter of the bar or sometimes it will be given as minimum 75 mm. So whichever is given in the structural drawings that we need to consider. But here we are going to consider it has to be 80 mm. So with this understanding uh, we'll go back to the Excel sheet again. That's it. I've made a hook of 0 0.008. I've written it here of 80 mm. Now coming to the cutting length of one bar. The cutting length is very simple. Whatever you have it here, 0 0.18 plus 0 0.18 plus 0 0.4 plus 0 0.4 plus hooks you have to add two times, right? Two hooks you are going to get 0 0.8 plus 0 0.8. So you're getting 1.32. We'll try to verify that 0 0.18 plus 0 0.18 plus 0 0.4 plus 0 0.4 plus 0 0.08 plus 0 0.08. Yeah, 1.32 is what you're getting. Now coming to the total cutting length, it's very simple. 1.32 into uh, how many such number of bars are there? Yeah. So to get this, we need to understand one more thing here. See, you can see the stirrups here, right? So whenever you want to find the number of stirrup, you have to take this outer to outer distance, this distance to this distance we have to take. So what is our distance given? It is 46125. And what is the center to center spacing given here? The center to center spacing given is 285. So what you need to do, I've, in, I've done it here. Whatever is your length, you know, that is 4625. That you have to input it here. You have to write it here. Yeah. So I've written it here, 4.625. I'll do it manually. 4.625 divided by center to center spacing how much is the center to center spacing it is 285 so 0 0.285 so it's coming 16.22 let us consider it has to be 17 and we need to add one more to that right so i have not done it here we'll do it here so the uh, total uh, it's not a cutting length it should be total number of bar total Yeah, so I'm sorry for that. Yeah, this is total cutting length only. So I'm getting 17 here. I'll try to add one more to that. I'll make the changes here. Plus one is what I'm doing. So it comes out to be 18 now. Now coming to the total cutting length, this is equal to whatever number of bar you are getting it here, right? For that, you have to multiply this cutting length of one bar. Only after that, you're going to get the total cutting length. I'll enter here. So I'm getting 23.76 as my total cutting length. So what is the diameter of the bar? The lateral test usually what we use is 8 mm. So here I'm giving one here. 
that means uh, the excel is going to take 8 mm has a lateral ties so now try to do this calculation 23.76 uh, multiplied by 0 uh, multiplied by 0 0.395 so i'm getting 9.38 that's it i'm getting 9.3852 here so that is the total weight of the stirrup that you need to calculate this comes out to be 9.385 right so this is how we need to do the calculation for the stirrups we'll take one more as an example i'll consider this for time being yeah we'll consider this as this for the time being or let us consider this only i'll consider this for the time being so whenever you are calculating the number of stirrups try to calculate from this outer face to outer face what is the distance written here 4625 that is okay and what is the center to center spacing it is 150 so with this 4625 is already written by me and divided by 150 i'm writing it as 0 0.15 here and i'll enter but i'll hit it enter so i'm going to get 32 number of bars and if i want to put 32 number of bars and let us say this is a cutting length